my name is Crystal Breslin. I work at Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, or IUPUI in downtown Indianapolis. I work in Dr. Susan Walsh's laboratory. It's a DNA phenotyping laboratory. And um, we work on improving um, DNA phenotyping for the forensics platform. For DNA phenotyping right now, currently what they use is a categorical system. So they split it up into categories, like for example, eye color is brown eyes, blue eyes, that kind of thing, and then, and then an intermediate color. And so basically quantitative color prediction is giving an exact value of the prediction of the color. So rather than just giving a category, because like for example, blue eyes, my definition of blue eyes could be very different from your definition of blue eyes. So we want to go and predict an actual like RGB or HSV value. So like if you were to take Photoshop, for example, and to zoom in on an eye, that exact value of what that color would be. So that's what we're looking to predict is that exact RGB or HSV value so that we can give an actual printout of what the eye color would be. So basically what we did in order to get the original genes that we looked at to, do, to give our categorical predictions of hair and eye color and skin color is we did a genome-wide association study or a GWAS. And from there, once we've determined the major genes that cause it, we look at the intermediate SNPs and genes that are located around the SNPs that we currently already look at in order to help find little things that tweak the colors that can help us determine you know why one person has like green eyes or why they have like blue green eyes as opposed to just straight blue eyes so looking at those intermediate genes that were not such bigger contributors before to kind of determine that that's how we basically are getting to figure out the intermediate colors so if you're looking at just pigmentation so like what we do it's very close we can actually right now we can give you a prediction of hair eye and skin color the same thing like an eyewitness would give you so if somebody were to describe somebody who committed a crime they'd say the person had black hair brown eyes and medium complexion skin we can do that kind of thing right now in order to do like the quantitative color it's a couple years away we're doing a lot of research right now to give an actual prediction because what we want to do in the end is be able to produce an actual mugshot of what the person looks like so we want to be able to hand police a printout and say this is who you're looking for this is what they look like so we are in the process of trying to figure out exactly how to go about doing that so it's going to take a little bit more research but in the next one to two years it probably should be possible um, depending on what other areas you're looking at like age or balding they're a couple years away and then there's some things like height that we may never figure out so there's it just depends on what area you're looking at but um, in the realm of like pigmentation prediction completely um, separate from ancestry it's only a, it's only a couple years away our model is very different from some of the others out there and that all of our work is completely independent of ancestry due to the admixture in the United States and some people don't express exactly what their ancestry is.